Greetings everybody and welcome to a very very quick tutorial about how to connect your AE system, your Applied Energistic system, to a remote system so you can access your inventory, inventory from anywhere in the world, from the nether, from the end, wherever you want. Um, normally with Apl Applied Energistics you get those wireless access points blocks. Uh, if you plop them down and somehow connect them to your system, uh, you can then use a access terminal card and link it to your system and then if you right click that card it will let you access your blocks and take them out or put them in however you want. The problem with that is the range is not very good so even if I fly over here I'm not super far away but it doesn't it doesn't have a signal. Um, now you could extend the signal a little bit by using those wireless boosters only 16 at a time but even then it doesn't let you you know go like thousands of blocks into one direction and access your system so it's not that good, and even if you're in the nether or in the end or something like this, it wouldn't work either, unless you connect a lot of wireless points to your to your system. Uh, luckily, using logistics pipes, you can actually extend this by quite a distance. I don't know if there's a limit, I have not found the limit yet, uh, but it also works cross dimensions and everything, so it's pretty cool. Now, I haven't played around with logistics pipes pipes too much myself, I just started, but you really only need three blocks from logistics pipes to make this work, and I'll show you how. So the first of uh, the first thing you need is actually an interface from Applied Energistics. Uh, what, does, what this does is it connects two different inventories from two different mods so that whatever inventory you connect, it can actually access your ME system, which is very important because we want to use the logistics pipes, which can't directly connect to your system if you would just um, connected like this. Actually, I'm, you know, this looks like it might work too. I have to try this. Ah, okay, I just tried to, to place them directly to my ME drive, but as you can see, if I try to access it, this, it doesn't show you the items that are in here, so this doesn't work. So you definitely have to place an interface here. Now, the second item you need, or the first logistics pipe item rather, is the provider pipe. That one, if you connect it to the interface, will tell your logistics system that you have those items available. So it communicates with CME system through the interface and tells you, hey, those items are available. Um, normally you would use something like a request pipe uh, to, you know, request items. Let's say I want five cobblestone request and it will just spit them out out of the pipe. Uh, so let's put them back in. So that's not really what we want. We want to uh, have it accessed from anywhere in the world. So let's not use that one. Let's use a remote order pipe instead. So just plop it down. And I also noticed that you don't have to provide them with power. I think normally you do, but I think they might use the uh, the power that comes from the AE system, but I could be wrong. Anyway, we have a remote um, order here now. Now, normally, if you don't have, let me get a wrench. If you don't have this remote order item here, uh, you could use a wrench or something, just uh, right click your pipes and then access them like this. If you had a, you know, like a request pipe, you could right click it and access your items. Uh, but you can make this remote order item, which is a little bit expensive, I guess. It requires two diamond gears, but really it's, at this point, if you have an AE system, you probably have those resources. Um, now, if you right click a remote order of logistics pipes with your remote orderer, it creates a link connected to pipe. Now I can go anywhere I want, right click and ta-da, it opens your system. I can even fly, I don't know, up this hill, for example. And if I right click, oh, a little bit of lag. <laughs> if I right click here, you can see you get your items. Now the thing is with this remote order items, if you request something, you don't get it because it just spits it out, out of the pipe. Well, that shouldn't be a problem because Oh, flew all the way over here because we have ender chests. So just put down an ender chest, make an ender pouch that has the same color code. You can just right click an ender chest with uh, with a ender pouch to uh, match the color code. And now if we request something again, let's say I want you know five cobblestone, it will land in this chest. But I can also just open my ender pouch and ta-da, there it is. I can grab it and I have it. That's all you need, really. Let's go to the nether, see how, or if that works. Pretty sure it does. Here we are in a very, very creepy nether. Let's open our remote orderer. Let it load for a little bit. A little bit of lag. There's always a little bit of lag. 
Oh, there we go. I had to open it again. And, you know, we want a stack of wood because why wouldn't you want to have wood in a nether? Request. Open your ender pouch. There it is. Grab it and you're good to go. Now, you could, you know, you have your system now. You can grab items from anywhere you want. Very easy. Oops, don't go back. Um, but sometimes you also want to put items back. Oh, I'm in my different base right now. Hold on a second. <laughs> All right, here we are again. For some reason, my nether portal got linked to a different one. Um, but as I was saying, that looks weird. Sometimes you would like to connect, or I mean, um, if, you, if you grab items, you want to put them back. Very easy. Just get a second ender chest, get some, oops, supplied energy six cable real quick. And what I have set up here is a second ender chest with a, in this case, a fuzzy uh, import bus just so it imports everything and I can set it to stack mode. The basic one only can draw one item at a time. And this one is actually set to a different color. So if I just get a second ender pouch, which I already have here with a black color code, uh, I can just put in the items there and eventually it will you know, pull them out and put them back into my E system. And again, this is all you need. You have one bag for retrieval, one bag to store things, and then your remote order to get the items. So if I go back to the nether, Downloading Terran, open my remote orderer. Request some sand, why not? 10 sand. Open my pouch, grab it, you know, do some things, break blocks, harvest stuff, and eventually open my deploy and the pouch, put items back, and they will all end up in my AE system again. After a few seconds. Probably because I don't have a uh, chunk loader there. But yeah, that's all you have to do, really. So, there you go. Uh, I hope it's going to be useful for you. I think as soon as I load the chunk, it will eventually pull it out again. Uh, but, but this is pretty much how you do the system. So, I hope you like it. And let me know if you have a different method of doing this. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.